When a baby animal ends up in your yard, it might seem like the perfect next pet. But the Northwoods Wildlife Center in Minocqua warns that these animals are better off on their own. Our reporter Ellie Skelly has more. Probably for one of our raptors. If there's one thing Ray, Brian Ray Black Ray can be what sure of, it's that. Humans are very bad at teaching animals how to be wild. As the executive director of the Northwoods Wildlife Center, Part of Black's job is to deal with the consequences of humans' attempt at raising wild animals. When people do adopt these animals, they become accustomed to people, they become imprinted to people sometimes. An animal that is imprinted on human life is one that looks to humans for guidance rather than their own species. And while they may seem like a unique pet... Domestication and imprintation are two different things. Domestication would mean fawns are good pets and they're not. Dogs are domesticated. The ultimate goal here at Northwoods Wildlife Center is to keep animals wild. Now, the more that the wildlife stays wild and follows their natural instincts and behaviors that they've been taught by their parents, the more likely they are to be successful, healthy parts of the ecosystem they live in. Black says that if you find an animal that appears to be in distress, do not immediately approach it. Before trying to do anything for that animal themselves, they should call us so we can help determine whether or not that animal really needs help. And if it needs help, what steps should be taken? Because there's things people shouldn't do and there's things people should do. And we can talk them through that. By keeping distance from these animals, it's better for both parties involved. Even though you think they might be cute, the chances of them causing problems that you have to deal with are gonna be higher when they interact with you more often. From Minocqua, Ellie Skelly, Newswatch.